since August. They have found three bones and a pair of shoes belonging to the 13-year-old who disappeared in 2003. Police Commissioner Bob Atkinson says the search is expected to end next week. Auckland family lawyer Peter Boyce says significant new discoveries have been made at the site and it's up to police to disclose the specific nature. He says Bruce and Denise Morkham have shown great strength. I think they've been exceptional in the way that they've been prepared to let things proceed, not interfere. 42-year-old Brett Peter Cowan has been charged with murdering the teenager. Scientists involved in a trial which uses stem cells to fix spinal injuries say early results have been successful. Melbourne's Monash University is using stem cells to promote bone tissue growth in patients who've had spinal discs removed. It's hoped the development will significantly reduce chronic pain. The university's Dr Tony Goldschlager says researchers are hoping to take the trial into a third and final stage following their early breakthroughs. This is um, a world first trial. Um, where we're using stem cells from a company called Mesoblast and we're implanting them into patients who are having multi-level spinal fusions in the neck. From our preclinical data, it shows that it can increase the rate of bone infusion and therefore increase the long-term success of the operation. Just before the close, local shares were holding on to most of their gains to be more than 2% higher. The All Lords was up 88 points to 4,220. And a short time ago, the Australian dollar had risen to 97.9 US cents. In golf, former world number one Tiger Woods has struggled in wet and cold conditions in his first PGA appearance in almost two months. Tour rookie Brendan Steele and fellow Americans Bryony Baird, Garrett Willis and Matt Betancourt stole the limelight at a Pro-Am tournament in California, firing four under par 67s in the first round. Woods finished with an erratic 73. Tomorrow's weather, Sydney a shower or two and 21 degrees, Melbourne shower two or two clearing, 21 Brisbane showers and thunderstorms 25, Perth a shower or two and 21, Adelaide finally becoming sunny at 22, Hobart drizzle increasing to showers at 17 degrees, Canberra tomorrow a shower or two and 20, Darwin an afternoon storm inland and 32. ABC News. And this is ABC Classic FM and it's Julie Howard here with you now. Welcome along to Friday's Classic TV. The working week draws to a close.
to the world of the end and with the limit from the division into ND5. Here on ABC, Classic FM, eight minutes past four. Music from southern Italy, music of Tchaikovsky and Sansons coming very soon. And now to George Pinto, contemporary of Haydn and Mozart. Salomon, who was his teacher, said that if he'd lived and been able to resist the allurements of society, England would have had the honour of producing the second Mozart. Those allurements put him very young and he died when he was just 20. But this is the Rondo from his grand sonata in K.
Yeah. 